What's up, everybody? It's Bob Hollywood with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Today, I got a more recent review of DC Superhero Girls line, Supergirl. Her name's in the the branding in a way. Super and Girl are both in there. Um, and she comes with one accept, one accessory, which is her cape. Uh, this is this figure is from 2015, made by Mattel. Go ahead, Mattel. I want you guys to be awesome. You guys let me down so much, but I want you to be awesome. I keep supporting you. I uh, bought this figure for myself for like five, six bucks from like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I don't remember which one. Um, I bought this figure for my kids a, a little while ago along with these other six figures at the bottom. I have reviewed Batgirl from this line. I reviewed Katana from the next line after this. Not going to be reviewing Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, or Poison Ivy, and I will be reviewing Bumblebee. She's next. I'm not going to read this long paragraph that I've read with the Katana, but I will read Supergirl's descriptive paragraph. It reads, Supergirl is the most powerful teen in the universe, but she's also a little clumsy as she learns to control her awesome power. Like her cousin Superman, Supergirl is from the planet Krypton. She is not only a new student at Superhero High, she's also new to Earth. She's sweet, innocent, and optimistic, and wants to learn everything about her adopted world. Superpowers. Super strength, flight, invincibility, super hearing, heat vision, x-ray vision. So a lot of similarities with Superman, even down to the classic costume scheme, the red and blue. Her blue is a little bit lighter. Um, and there are debates whether Supergirl is actually better than Superman. I'm not going to get into that. I don't know too, too much about Supergirl. I bought this figure for two reasons. It was cheap, and I like the way she looks. Um... That's why I bought Batgirl, and maybe I'll buy Wonder Woman, but I really don't care about Holly Quinn or Poison Ivy. But maybe I'll buy the Wonder Woman if I see her eventually for the same price. Um, So that's my intro for that. Let me go ahead and get her out of the packaging so we can discuss her further. Welcome back, folks. As you see, I have Supergirl out of her prison. Still posed the way she was in her flight pose. I just lowered her arm. She was like this, I believe. Very, very dynamic. Groundbreaking dynamics. I keyed. Let me just loosen her up. I can tell you right now, I like her way more than I like the Batgirl I just reviewed. Ah, oh, I just noticed her wristbands are different colors. So I guess she couldn't make up her mind before she went to school. Let's check out her articulation. Well, first, let's just look at her... Um, Let's look at her details. Very big blue eyes, gorgeous blue eyes. She's cute, blonde hair, headband, rubbery head like like this line has. Um, the blue on her sweater is lighter than the blue on her sleeves, but it's also that way in the packaging, so I'm assuming it's that way in the cartoon. I've never watched the cartoon. Let me get her to clear up. So there we go. Uh, skirt. Not trying to be a pervert, but we look under her skirt. She has blue knickers, uh, red shoes, and silverish socks. Um, their cape, her one accessory, her cape, it comes off. It's short. It looks like this could go with like a two-inch figure or something, but it goes with this six-inch figure. And I'm not complaining. It's not meant to be, you know, it's not supposed to sweep the floor behind her. I'm going to take it off for a second. Let's look at... And this camera keeps getting blurry. Let's look at her articulation. Her head turns to the left and the right. It goes back. That's the same thing Katana's head was doing. Just automatically going back. Um, kind of like a bobblehead. I didn't have too much trouble with that with the Batgirl. But I didn't like the Batgirl. So we're not going to talk about her. Her shoulders go up that high. Both shoulders. That's pretty good range. It's better than the Katana. Better than the other figure I just said I wouldn't talk about. Um... They rotate at the shoulder, complete 360. You would think her hair would get in the way, but it doesn't. Her elbows, about 90 degrees, maybe a little less than 90 degrees. Come on, focus. A little less than 90 degrees, but they also pivot like that. Completely, her and her wrists rotate. I don't know why her... 
I don't know. I guess her this maybe not maybe isn't a normal wristband, but yeah, they're definitely different colors. Her legs go out this far. She does have this this skirt that prohibits her from going any further, and they kick up this high, not very high at all. They go back that far. Her knees do bend a little less than 90 degrees, but I'm not complaining. She can't sit because of her skirt. Um, her and her feet rotate. Her feet, her right foot appears to be in a position where her knee has to bend. If you want her to stand, if she'll stand, we'll see. She does stand. Didn't really take too much work to do it, unlike the Batgirl. Batgirl will refuse to stand. Not right there, I like her more than Batgirl. Um, no waist articulation, but that's fine. Her bottom of her boots aren't as sculpted as Batgirl's. And now that I look at this identification number on the bottom of her shoe, come on, come on. Let's see that it does not want to. You can see it's there. You can't make it out. Camera does not want to cooperate. But they put it on the bottom of her shoe. They didn't put it on the side of her shoe. They didn't put it on her leg. Unlike the bat girl, they put it on her the side of her shoe, and it could have easily gone on the bottom of her foot, I guess. But it's cool. This figure is cool. If I had to rate her, I would give her a. I would give her like a six and a half. I'm gonna see how tall she is. Six and three quarters almost, um, maybe a little bit shorter, maybe shorter than the other figures in this line. I'm going to compare her to those figures. There's the Katana, which so far has a seven rating, and the Batgirl, which has a six, which, judging this Supergirl, I wish I could give Batgirl a lower rating, but I'm not going to retroactively do that to her. She still doesn't want to stand, so she may not be compared. There she goes. And she actually looks to be the, nope, she's shorter than Batgirl, but taller than the Katana. Still a pretty tall Asian, if you ask me. I'm going to get the two figures not being reviewed out of there. And I'm going to compare her to another figure. I'm going to compare her to a Marvel Legends. Let me get her so you can see her feet. Firmly planted. And the reason why I'm comparing her to this Marvel Legends, because he's huge. It's Juggernaut. It's good old Juggernaut. He doesn't have his helmet on, because I didn't feel like looking for his helmet. But yeah, massive. Juggernaut's probably one of my top three tallest figures, almost eight inches. So yeah, another reason why I wanted to compare her to him is because I wanted her to lift him up. Because Superman could lift up Juggernaut. And she's not going to do it without me holding her and him. Yeah, she can't support him. Oh, well, she's got him. But she dropped him. But yeah, there's Juggernaut, and she's a good student. Juggernaut didn't do any crime today. She's going to help him up. There you go. Dust yourself off. Get him out of there. So there's Supergirl. Again, give her a six and a half. Um, if this were a video game, that would be a failing grade in my opinion. I like sevens and above, but she's not a seven. She's not on Katana's level, but she's better than Batgirl. So six and a half is good for her. That's it. Let her wave goodbye. Like I let Batgirl wave goodbye. Will she stand up and do it on her own? Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's see. N maybe not. No. N nope. So that's your last image of her. Upskirt. Alright guys. Thank you for joining me today. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, let the homies know about me. I'm up here trying. This is maybe my fourth or fifth or review and yeah i'm just doing me i'm just having fun doing this i'm having fun playing and collecting with toys and it's been a long journey so far i mean 30 years of playing with toys and collecting them and just now I'm documenting it so i appreciate you being here for me with this step you guys enjoy the rest of your day have a great weekend bye